Hi, welcome to my channel, Ravens Enchanted Tarot. This evening I'm doing a reading for Scorpio. So this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, but cross watchers, you're welcome here as well. This is going to be for July 1st through to the 15th. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember, don't make all the messages fit. Um, only you know part of the message will fit or none at all. This is a future read, but there are also maybe some energies here from the past. So again, just take what's for you and leave the rest. So what is coming towards Scorpio, please? July 1st through to the 15th. What is coming towards Scorpio? I don't know why whenever I say your, your star sign, it never sounds right when I'm saying it's Scorpio. It always feels like, I don't know, there's something missing when I'm saying it. It's so bizarre. So we'll get the cards out on the table, see what we're dealing with. I always clarify the cards and then I pull some oracles at the end of the reading. So please bear with me. That just fell out by itself, so I'm going to take that. Let's get some more cards, please. July 1st through to the 15th. Well, oh, you have been having a rough time, haven't you, so far? Wow. Wow. I've just had a shitload of cards fall out. Um, I can't take all of those. That's mm, that's a heavy, heavy energy, Scorpio. Heavy energy indeed. Okay. So you may need to sit down for this reading. For a certain select few of you. This is a heavy reading. Now, I saw the Three of Swords multiple times whilst I was shuffling. Somebody has been cheating or stepped outside of a relationship, and you know they have. For whatever reason, you either can't prove it, you can't get the evidence, you're feeling very, very frustrated, but somebody has been lying, somebody has been deceptive. So, the bottom of the deck, the sun. Do not worry, Scorpio, because whatever shit has been going down, it will resolve itself. And you will come out the other side. The depression will lift. Your mood will feel much, much better. There is some money coming towards your way as well. I can, uh, with the sun, it always shows me money. Because it, you know, whenever there's money, there's happiness, there's abundance, there's, it almost feels like everything's golden. So this sun is showing me that things are getting better. And you have been going through an extremely, extremely difficult time. There's a lot of sadness. And you've been feeling very confused. Right. Overall, we have got the Five of Wands reversed. So you have been dealing with a lot of drama, a lot of chaos. He said, she said, bitching, arguments. There's a lot of internal conflict as well with this card. A mental internal conflict. Fights. Could be some physical fights as well. Physical altercations. Page of Swords reversed. Message from Spirit. This is a this is paranoia. Someone is suffering with major paranoia, fighting with themselves as well, fighting with their own ego. Someone is spying, watching, collecting information. Could be watching your social media, stalking. You know, sitting outside your place, watching where you're going, who's coming towards you. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Very, very malignant energy. Hierophant reversed. All hope is lost. Some of you are feeling all hope is lost. You feel like you're spiritually disconnected. Or possibly some of you have stopped going to church. You've stopped believing. You've stopped asking your guards for help. This is like... You've just given up. You want to give up. There's no hope. And Spirit is saying, knock it off. Knock it off. Is somebody really worth all of that? Something or someone, you need to ask yourself, are they really worth it? Because by answering truthfully, and by admitting the truth, and seeing this shit for what's, you know, what it is, you're going to welcome in a whole new relationship either with spirit, yourself or a new companion. 
because you're clearing the path, you're making way. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but there is definitely cross lovers here. A very, very difficult situation. What's the Five of Wands reversed? The Scorpio, please. Five of Wands reversed. Clarify the Five of Wands reversed. Clarify the Page of Swords reversed for Scorpio. Clarify the Hierophant reversed. Oh, that's too many. Clarify the Hierophant reversed. Clarify the lovers. <laughs> Spirit's like, yeah, you're going to take all these cards. Page of Wands reversed. Harsh communication. Harsh. Fights, arguments via message, email, whatever. Harsh communication. Immature communication. This person is very immature. They want what they want when they want it, when it suits them, this individual does. Could be dealing with another water sign or a fire sign, but this individual wants what they want. And they're not really, this isn't somebody who takes into consideration sort of your feelings or your regards to this situation. A very, very, very jealous individual indeed. They want everything for themselves. And someone's been losing their temper. Someone's been extremely angry. Very, very egotistical. Somewhat chauvinistic. And there's been... I feel like this person is suffering with either mental health disorder or, you know, some sort of anxiety. You've also been suffering sleepless nights with this. Sleep deprived. Not eating correctly. Not taking care of yourself. Because of this individual... They're not communicating what you want to hear. And it just got out of control. Definitely could be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer. There is history here. There's a lot of nostalgia. And I feel for some of you, that's why you just keep holding on because of the past. You may have children. You may have been childhood sweethearts. But for whatever reason, it just got out of control. It got out of hand. No one is behind, you know, no one's in the driving seat with this. It just feels like there was a commitment, then there isn't a commitment, then there is, then it's just like on and off, on and off, on and off. And the communication is just shot. The communication's shot. But for whatever reason, someone can't let someone go. It's an attitude of I don't want you, but I don't want anybody else to have you either. Give some more cards for this reading, please, for Scorpio. coins reversed sometimes you've just got to accept the loss for what it is somebody does not realize what they've got they do not realize what they have the opportunities the lifestyle they do not they don't see it they don't see what they've got right in front of them but here's you this queen of coins stable secure mature you know what you want you're not afraid of going out there and working for it you're not afraid of getting it you work very hard and you're not afraid to take risks. And I think that's what scares this person. You're a very bold, dynamic person and you're willing to go out there and risk it all. And Spirit's saying there's something that you are about to risk and it will pay off. It's about time you did something for yourself instead of other people. That's what Spirit's saying. Okay, have a little one, please, for Scorpio. And there's that sun reverse. So 
So there has been some major depression. Oh, someone has been suffering major depression. Oh, I'll stop flying on the floor. Something new is coming in when you least expect it. Something new is coming in. Definitely. There is a proposal of love here. There has been some depression. You may currently still be feeling depressed because you know things have been going on. You've just not been able to put your finger on it, but you knew something wasn't right. But there is love. There is a love connection coming in. Somebody who is... They will be more connected to you than what you've ever known in your life. And you will face some difficulties, but you'll get through the difficulties together as like teamwork. You need to get away from this energy, something that's holding you back. Something's holding you back. Don't fall for the fake promises or the fake bullshit. Kevin Moonology, please, for Scorpio. Oh, you can have all the cards, apparently, Scorpio. So the first card out that you have is good luck. So you do have things that are on your side. Lucky cats, lucky black, black cats, don't run away from them. There is going to be a change for the better. Lucky energy is surrounding you right now and it's asking you to grab opportunities with both hands. And like I say, cats, animals, especially a black cat, these are all indicating, look, something good coming your way. So don't walk away, walk towards it. You know, people have this stupid superstition of black cats being bad luck and it's, it's really not the case whatsoever. The new moon in Cancer... This is saying you need to let someone get close to you. Now, I think this is the new love offer that I was picking up on. There is a new love offer coming in because a new cycle is starting. This is going to be starting for you and your children. A time to review your goals. Have they changed? Are you wanting to do something for yourself? Meditation will help banish any insecurities you're carrying. Some of you need to spend time near water because it will bring you some peace and answers. And as you're a water sign... This is something you really need to draw yourself towards to help bring clarity and peace. I'll leave the reading there. Let me know in the comments section if this resonates. Like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen with Chappie by giving me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.